It is a situation that occurred at the Garden Square, a venue that was to host an East and Central African title bout pitting Kenyan Fatuma Zarika and Ugandan Howard Daku in the super welterweight class. Njuguna Kabugu was the promoter and after claiming that Ecobank want to sponsor the match, he would come late on the day of the match to say there was no money to pay the boxers and that the bout was not to take place. <laughs> So here yeah, there is no match because we have not taken any for this match. And uh, right? What so about our tickets? Yes. Do you have a ticket? If you have a ticket, go with the ticket there, you will be given your money. Now he was to be answerable. <laughs> And we try to come very, very early. As we said before, that the action speaks louder. But we've been disappointed at the last time, at the last moment, rather. As the, the promoter is running up and down looking for money, for paying boxers. And it's like there is no money for boxers and I can't allow my boxer to go in the ring without money. You know, this is professional boxing. And it really discourages us. These are one of the things uh, drawing down boxing. I've come in Nairobi, Kenya for a fight, but now I don't know what was taking place, but I was ready for fight, and I'm still ready for fight. So I don't know what promoter. The experience of any card from Sudan to this place, and these are the disappointments. These are the tickets we are paid for, and we are getting nothing, we are not being refunded, we are not getting the bout. What's all this? Don't declare boxing in Kenya, please. This is not new to boxing in Kenya. It is a trend that has found its way in boxing, mostly exhibited by promoters who use boxers as business wallets and later deny them their money or even run away after convincing sponsors to give them money, leaving boxers in vain. A further report concerning this failure is expected in due course. A bigger bingo, a bigger bingo. Meanwhile, Mata is boiling in Taekwondo Federation in what is termed interference by the National Sports Council. The Kenya Taekwondo Association, led by Coast Province Chairman Harrison Kalama, mentioned the National Sports Council as disgrace to Taekwondo, which, according to the association, is trying to impose Bobby Musingo as the Federation Chairman in contrast to the legitimate and elected Chairman Sumba Suleiman. Sisi, kama viongozi wa branches. Hatumtambui mwana Bobby Musingo kama mwenyekiti wa Taekwondo kabisa. Tunalalamika sana juu ya Sports Council. Hasa bwana Charles Nyaberi na bwana Gikaria kwa sababu hawa wamechangia mzozo ndani ya Taekwondo. Wamechangia kwa sababu wanajaribu kuimpose mtu ambaye hajawahi kuwa mwenyekiti wetu wala governing council ambao ni sisi hatujawahi kumchagua watu wote. According to the association, Musingo had failed in the national wide elections and the National Sports Council is trying to bring the issue of two camps back that had earlier caused rangos in the sport right before the All-African Games in Maputo, Mozambique. Manuya Kevin, GBS News.